Hello and welcome to our very first open source pro tips by Sangoma video. Today we are launching a brand new video series geared towards FreePBX and Asterisk users to help them get the inside scoop on installation, configuration, and other tricks. My name is Robert Keller from Sangoma and I'm happy to be starting this series with you. Our in-house support and engineering staff will be making new videos once a month and the topics will vary. Sometimes the videos will be on free PBX or asterisk, or how to use devices such as IP phones or a gateway along with these open source platforms. So with that, let's get started on our very first video of the series, First Steps After Installation. Number one, register the deployment. This is fairly straightforward. When you first get into the web interface, you'll be presented with a screen to do initial setup. I suggest a name other than admin or administrator um, anything will do practically. Stay away from the common defaults if you can. Submit. Log in with your newly created credentials. And when you do, you'll be presented with a screen to register the deployment. You can skip it, but I suggest you do it. It's useful to have an inventory of your installations and should you need support or want a commercial module, you'll need that deployment ID. that's done, fill out the optional information, continue, create a name for a location, something that makes sense to you for this, this is just a lab and so I'll just give it VoIP server plan 01. Turnaround on this is generally quick. Wait for the complete and we'll move on. Finish the OOBE out of box experience. Set the time zone. We're going to abort the firewall setup for this. That's a topic for another day. Go ahead and apply the configuration. We'll set the DNS and static IP, not necessarily in that order. Go to admin, system admin, then network settings. Simply switch it to static, and if you need to make any changes, do so and save the interface. Save and apply. Go up to DNS. Uh, that's a locally assigned DNS server, which would work. However, I prefer to put the local host in there and any other. DNS I may use. In this case, I'll throw Google in there. Next, we'll do module and OS updates and reboot. This is relatively straightforward. Admin, module admin. Go up in repositories, choose standard and commercial. Check online and uh, take a look to see if you have any orange bars indicating the vulnerability. You want to take care of those first. Let's do the framework and knock that out. Confirm. Once it's done, return and uh, apply the configuration. And at that point, we're ready to move on and do uh, the rest of the updates. So again, we're going to check it. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this. One is to go up and hit, you know, upgrade all, which I really don't recommend on the initial setup. I feel it's better to go through and individually and you know enable the upgrade and selectively take anything out you think you're not going to be using, sort of tuning the box as you go. I think initially it's worth doing that. You can always add modules later. So I've selected what I want, I'm going to hit process. It'll come up with a nice list, we'll confirm. Um, this isn't real time, it takes a little longer for that many. It's done, we'll hit return apply config and we'll run over to our SSH session and simply do a yum update. This one didn't need much. This is real time. We'll let it run. It looks like it's just updating asterisk. Now we're ready to reboot. And the last step in this asterisk and SIP settings. It's just a good idea to do diligence to it. 
For the initial setup, I just want to detect the network settings, get the external IP, identify the subnets. This all looks correct. I'm going to go ahead and submit and apply. Um, typically, the next step after this would be to go in and uh, check the dashboard, look for any errors. If there are none, you could move on to the firewall. However, that's the topic for the next video. Thank you for watching. This has been an open source pro tip by Sangoma with your host, Robert Keller.